But we can't, we couldn't go to um, uh, movie theaters. Uh, the only one theater in town would allow us in, and then we had to sit up in the balcony. That was in, that was in St. Joe. Um, if you wanted to go out and eat dinner at a restaurant, well, you could work there, but you couldn't go and eat there. Mom told me about one time when she was uh, on a bus, and um, a fellow, white fellow came in and said, um, well, you, get up, get, get in the back. And, and she said, no, I'm not. And she had me in her arms. And one of the other uh, black ladies that was on the bus said, honey, you better, you better go ahead and move on back there because you see those women out there sweeping the streets now? They could do that to you and no telling what happened to your child. So she got up, picked up, picked up the baby and went on to the back. Can you imagine that now if you <laughs> tell, them, tell the black woman, get up and get to the back? <laughs> you have all kinds of trouble. But uh, that's the way it was. Uh, you were considered less than human. And after World War II, now this is hard to believe. My father told me he, he went and, and the, the fires were still hot. Uh, from They were burning uh, a people's bodies, Jewish people's bodies mostly, in Germany. And to the last second, so they moved up there and, and uh, tried to kill as many as possible. And the German people were looking behind the black GIs for tails because they had been indoctrinated that much believing that we weren't even human, really. And that's hard to believe because Germans were very, very intelligent people. But uh, they, they were... Uh, uh, indoctrinated and brainwashed so much that they actually believed that. I, w I was a, uh, a medic there and, I, and, all, and, and for part of the time I was a cook too in, in, in Vietnam and like I said I was there a year and um, uh, I didn't really get to see some of the worst things but I got to see the result of the worst thing because the second largest hospital in the Air Force at that time was at Cameron Bay. And I got to see a lot of um, young men with their limbs missing. And, and the worst part of it was uh, uh, psychological problems with their minds and drug problems were, were just unbelievably huge. A lot of people developed drug problems because the drug was very cheap in Vietnam. Came back here to the States and it was 50 times as much. And obviously, they went off into all kinds of things and didn't have treatments. Treatment was better than Korean War, but it wasn't anywhere near as good as it is now. You can do whatever you want to do. I really have always believed that. And uh, from what I've seen, the people who really are interested in, in doing something in their lives have been able to do it.